Welcome back. This is episode two of the Atlas Search scene. In the first episode, we created our first Atlas Search index for the Sample Movies collection. The next step for us developers in our Atlas Search journey is to set up a development environment so that we can become familiar with the MongoDB drivers, the aggregation pipeline syntax, and get right to running a dollar search from our own environment. Having dollar search from within the comfort of your environment and language of choice, right now I'm using Java because that's where I feel comfortable and how I plan on integrating into my production environment. Uh, your mileage may vary and there are drivers for all languages uh, that you'll probably even be using out there. Um, so no worries there. Okay, so first things first, we're gonna come back to Compass where we left off from that last episode and we're gonna pop into Compass here. And uh, if you recall from our last episode, um, we left off with the query for Keanu in the cast field here. Um, and again, we want to jump right into our development environment so that we are always kind of thinking production um, savvy um, from the start here. So while we are playing around in Compass here, we want to get right into programming. So from here, we can say export pipeline to language. Um, again, I'm going to be using Java. You can pick one of these other languages here and then hit the copy and it'll copy this code right here uh, so that you can put it right into your development environment. So our development environment uh, for this particular example is over here. I've got a stubbed out bit of code here. I'll just zoom in on that there. So we've got uh, a stubbed out Java driver code here where I'm uh, grabbing my Atlas URI from my environment and I've got that set up in my IDE so that it points to my Atlas cluster. And then I grab a database and get the movies collection from that database. And then I run an aggregation pipeline. Now I went ahead and created a, a method here to get the aggregation pipeline. And right now I've got null in there. And since I've copied that from the code from Compass, I can come over here and just paste that right in and now I've got that code rip handy and, and runnable, and I can just come over here and run uh, this particular program here. I'll just click run here. And what this program did was do a dollar search for uh, the Keanu, remember from our uh, aggregation pipeline here in the cast field, and then it did some output. It output all the docs. And what we see here is the JSON representation of all the movies that matched Keanu. I believe it's about 27 of them. Next up is index configuration. At this point, um, you've gotten your aggregation pipeline running in Compass. You've gotten it now running in your development environment. Um, and at this point, I want you to start to feel comfortable and uh, knowing where to configure uh, the Atlas search um, uh, mappings and so on so that you uh, know the right place to go. And then in future episodes, we're going to start drilling into the specifics of what it takes to, to do that configuration. But let me just point you to some resources here and so that you have uh, what it takes to, to start configuring Atlas search. So from the UI, let me just go back over here. So you have your index overview when you're uh, first do that your search tab here. You go into a particular index that you've got configured. And from here, you can edit the index definition. Uh, some of those edits, uh, many of those edits can be done in a uh, visual editor sort of way. So you can click the visual editor here and uh, tinker with the mappings from uh, particular fields in your collection to uh, the how they get indexed in the Atlas search index. Um, and from there, you can also um, edit the index definition in a JSON format. So as a developer, you know, we're pretty savvy with editing configuration files with uh, JSON. And so you can uh, maintain the JSON configuration in your uh, code um, repository and then uh, use that to either just paste it over here into uh, the UI or use um, index command. Okay, so you've got your uh, mapping file here. So that's uh, step one to configuring 
Um, and then there's a lot of documentation on how these mappings work and how you specify field names and their types and what happens behind the scenes. Again, we're going to cover some of those details in future episodes. So don't get hung up on these details, but realize that there's a lot of things to kind of think about when you're full text indexing your text and what types and uh, how you want to search that. So um, especially if you're dealing with different languages, we have uh, a suite of different uh, capabilities to analyze text um, based on the language that they're in. And there's a whole bunch of other um, uh, details here about how to, to configure uh, multi-analysis, uh, configure fields for faceting, to configure fields for synonym mappings, and so on. Um, again, not details here. We'll touch on those um, later. Um, now that you got that configuration file, you can see that the configuration file looks something like this. This is a, a more elaborate one that I've developed on the movies collection where um, I'm going to be faceting on the cast field. I'm going to be uh, searching on the cast field as well and doing some other interesting uh, uh, tricks with uh, token tokenization. Um, I've got some uh, language concerns here so that uh, I know that the plot of my movies are always in English, so I use an English analyzer here. So um, again, don't get hung up on these details. Just realize that there's a lot of configuration behind the scenes that will really uh, enhance uh, the searchability and the relevancy of, of uh, the queries that are coming through your dollar search aggregation pipeline. And again, lots of links below uh, to get you uh, jumping off to uh, documentation and to other tutorials and, and resources available for um, configuring Atlas Search and running it in your development environment.